Desmond. Oh my god. Holy shit. Look at this. Get that big old Sony in there. So it's been a bit. I looked at the archive maybe about a, about a month-ish. I believe I had uh, Brie on the last time I looked at PlayStation. <laughs> that is Penny. That person's playing a cat. The other just has a pizza box. Let me know how the sound is compared to me. Sound garage. Oh, right. Uh, let's go to Mad Island. Actually, I might need to turn it. I'm gonna. Yeah, it, it definitely has a vibe. It's called Mad Panic Coaster. <laughs> this might be as far as I get. This game is kind of hard. I do love this. <laughs>
Yeah, cause like Sonic wishes he went this fast. This is like really fast. Dang. Try one more time. I got basically I have to complete three laps. You know what the roller coaster roller coaster reminds me of the weird roller coaster scene in like Cool World. I know that's probably a like how am I supposed to dodge that bird? Come on, come on. I feel like I can do it. That bird! How am I supposed to... Yeah, that might that actually might be as far as I go. <laughs> Very hard. What's the sound garage? have any I I doubt it does but I'll I'll just check Yeah this doesn't have cheats not even a save wow Yeah, I do like this, like, weird demon. Uh, the situation with Cool Worlds is a little weird because it's technically studio tampering, but also it's just bad. Like, well, I don't think even the original version was going to be good, but... Yeah, th yeah, let's see happening, huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, well, that's that's mad panic coaster. Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna last all that long. Game's intense. Uh, mad panic. Trying to re already forgetting what the heck I picked. 
Good sign indeed. Uh, oh, right. Uh, let's play an Atlas game. Uh, nowadays. Uh, Atlas might be known for such things as the upcoming game Shin Megami Tensei 5 starring Jack Frost. Uh, but you know, Atlas used to do other things. Not exactly the things you would associate Atlas with, but, uh... Hey, it's... BAM! And Disney Interactive! Hi, Corporation. Uh, this is the hot Japanese game. 2002, my... This, 2002 for a PlayStation game. It's pretty late. Wait, what's the demo? Oh, are these d demos on how to do the game? Hey, Discord. Uh, let's play. Well, let's get cooking. <laughs> We're gonna cook with Mickey Mouse. Don't sue us. I'm Mortimer Mouse. Well, <laughs> and just think, our houses are just across the street. Well, there you are, neighbor. Looks like you're going to be doing a lot of cooking. Now, if you need anything, we'd be happy Wait. to have a grocery store for you. <laughs> and we'd be happy to, to drop by and, and test some of your delectable creations, too. Yeah, when Mickey just barges but in, it's like, you're going to cook me food, right? People. Wouldn't we, Mickey? Oh, sure. <laughs> That, that, that too. Ha. Well, have fun. Uh-huh. And uh, we'll drop by again soon, just to see how you're doing. Bye-bye. <laughs> we'll drop by. You better be making my food or I'll kill you. Also, Mickey's my neighbor. Why? Why do I have a picture of him? <laughs> oh, here, let's change the picture to something respectable, like... Like Donald's. How do I close Discord? One second. Let me make sure Discord. Okay. Okay. We got a mug it a toast. Oh my god. How'd I close that? Cook my dinner, I'll, I'll copyright you. Let's make breakfast. What? Welcome to the Good Morning Griddle. 
The place to make the yummiest breakfast in town. The griddle's always on, so all you have to do is start cracking and pouring. When one side looks cooked, use your spatula to flip it on the other side. After both sides are cooked, put the food on the plates with the spatula. <laughs> it can be tricky. You see, if you're not quick enough, things burn. So, begin on a low flame, then work your way up to medium and even high. When you're ready, send the plates to the kitchen table by clicking this button. Then click here to go back to the kitchen for breakfast with Mickey and Minnie. Did Mickey and Minnie oh, install... I can almost taste those <laughs> Install this in my house so I would cook for them. Bacon makes a sizzling sort of sound when it cooks. When the bacon gets really brown, flip it with the spatula. There it goes. That's it. Now grab your spatula, and when the bubbles burst, then flip it. What? A spatula, the perfect pick it up. <laughs> oh, what the? That was not good. The spatula will help you flip the egg when the yolk turns bright yellow. Oh, whoopsie. What? Scrumptious. Uh -oh. Positively delectable. Betty's batter's bitter. Bet your batter's better. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's rising. Oh, my God. The bright yellow yolk means it's time to flip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How did you do that? Wait, no, I didn't want to do A that. Bachelor. Oh, yeah, but... Definitely delicious! Pancake, bacon, and so bacon. Is that everything? <laughs> this probably was, I would imagine. And so are you. <laughs> now let's put syrup on that egg. Yeah, put a... Uh... Positively. Oh, this looks good enough to eat. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just gonna... Definitely delicious. Yeah. You're so good at this. Butter makes things so... Oh, oh, this looks uh, good enough to you. eat. You're so good at this. I'm so good at this. <laughs> yeah, I put syrup on the bacon and eggs. Positively delectable. Hmm. How hot would you like the griddle? The hotter it is, the better. Oh my goodness, what a breakfast! We'll be right over. Come on, Mickey. Eat it, you pig. You love it, don't you? It's ready. Please enjoy. Just wait till you see this breakfast. You're gonna love it. Oh boy, I can't wait. Oh my god. So nice to be here. <laughs> uh huh. A good breakfast gets the day started right, you know. Oh, oh, this is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, yes, I love my eggs and syrup. Minnie told me you were a great cook, and she was right. I was, wasn't I? <laughs> yeah? 
Okay, then. We'll see you around the neighborhood. <laughs> Just <laughs> eat the syrup. <laughs> Butterhead. Well, I'm ready for a terrific day. How about you, Minnie? Like the well, animal you are. See you later, Mickey. <laughs> Feed me. That's slop. Oh my god. What else do we have? That's what I'm wondering. Can I even do this? I wonder... Here, let's open up the griddle. Your, you know, your, you're so good at this. Your standard egg, egg, and egg. Scrumptious. And full. Oh. When the bacon gets really brown, this is with the spatula. A spatula, the perfect pick it up. <laughs> Positively delectable. That's it. Now grab your spatula, and when the bubbles burst, then flip it. You're becoming a real egg spurt. <laughs> I'm an egg spurt. Some people call me an egg spurt. And we gotta put it, make it sure it's nice and tasty for those rats. Butter on there, butter on there. Positively delectable. Um, you know. <laughs> this looks good enough to eat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Definitely delicious. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> so good at this. <laughs> Positively delectable. <laughs> this looks good enough. Mm -hmm. Definitely delicious. <laughs> You're so good at this. <laughs> Just gonna. Uh, we are cooking food for a bunch of talking rats. We'll pour some on the grill. Why not? Ready, please enjoy. Isn't it wonderful to have such a nice neighbor? <laughs> it sure is, Minnie. It's so nice to be here. And uh huh. <laughs> it's time for second breakfast. <laughs> breakfast yesterday started right, you know. Oh, gosh. Mm. Oh, I love, I love high eggs and syrup. Minnie told me you were a great cook, and she was right. <laughs> You're <laughs> slop, right? Okay, then. We'll see you around the neighborhood. <laughs> well, 
technology oh, and <laughs> technical. How about you, Minnie? Thank you. Me too. Look, they just they yeah. left all the stuff here and didn't put it in the sink. The fuck. Thanks, jerks. Oh, we're making a cake? Gosh, looks like you found the make a cake oven. The place to bake and decorate your dream cake. After you bake your cake, you can decorate it too. <laughs> That's my favorite part. And Minnie and me, well, we'd love to taste your cake when it's all done. Just press on this little button to send your cakes to us. <laughs> Minnie and me will I never want Mickey to tell me I'd love to taste your cake. Button to go back to the kitchen. Oh boy, I can hardly wait. You never like to hear when Mickey Mouse wants to taste your cake. The mixer mixes all the ingredients in the batter and puts air into the batter to make it fluffy. Oh, great! Now all we have to do is stick the pan in the oven. We ain't doing that. We need to put chocolate in it. That's colorful. <laughs> that flavor is going to taste delish. <laughs> Good choice. This is going to be some batter for a cake. <laughs> Just look at that color. What's this? You know, that's one of my favorite flavors. You think King Mc Wait, what is this? A lemon? Wow, that's colorful. <laughs> yeah, let's make a piss cake. That flavor is gonna taste delish. <laughs> Good choice. Why, look at the texture of that batter. Why, you're a mixing master. That looks like it's going to be a great cake. The more you mix, the better the batter. <laughs> oh, yeah, that looks Come good. On, pal. Ooh, look how smooth it looks. Let's just put that in. Uh, do I have to open this? That's the bacon button. Hey, pal. Try pressing on the little button to turn that on. So long. Hey, pal. Try pressing on the little button to turn that on. So long. Yeah, I'm trying. My, that cake smells delicious. Mm. Now I wonder how you're gonna decorate it. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be great. Now let's decorate. Uh. How do I do that? Oh, okay, here we are. What is this? I think Donald would like your style. I sure love that frosting. Ah, icing is the finishing touch to a cake. <laughs> and this one looks fantastic. I have to dot it. Oh, man. Oh, you can only have a limited amount of dots? What's this? Mm, that lemon frosting sure looks good. <laughs> Gosh, I hope I'll get to taste it. Yeah, don't worry. Gosh, vanilla frosting sure looks pretty on a cake. <laughs> and it's sweet, too. Yep. That's 
what you call it. What's this? Change frosting shape? I like it. Daisy sure is sitting pretty on top of this cake. I think Donald would like your style. Change frosting. Oh, that's okay. Gosh, vanilla frosting sure looks pretty on a cake. <laughs> and it's sweet, too. Why, you sure are an icing expert. <laughs> Good work, pal. Uh, here you go. Anyway, here's uh, Donald Duck. Uh, surrounded by cum. Here you go, Minnie and Mickey. Eat your friend. Donald. Oh, gee, just look at this cake and that vanilla icing. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> oh, oh, this is delicious. <laughs> so, so far this morning, it's delicious. they've oh, eaten cake, two bouts of sugar cereal. I, I do believe this takes place in the world of fiction because Mickey's not a king. Yeah, uh, that's a really good cake. I think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the only thing missing from the cake was syrup. Clearly needed that. What else can we do? Oh, can we, like, change the radio? Oh god, what is this? Uh... Some peanut butter on that turkey. Perfect tea. Let's put it in the sink. Why, hello! I can smell that chicken from my house, and it smells delicious. Goodbye. Oh my God! Like, imagine if you had a neighbor where every time. Hey, I just happened to be passing by, and I, I thought you could use this. What? He gave me a turkey, a chicken. What? Oh my god. Oh, hey neighbor, I heard you were cooking food. Can I eat some? Hey neighbor. What is this? Oh, 
Well, I'm not sure if there's anything else. What? Yeah. Wants to eat <laughs> my tea so close. <laughs> eat enough breaths. Oh man. Are you sure you want to go? Really? Oh wait. Before we go, we, we gotta, you know, we got some ice cream. Might as well. <laughs> Oh, it won't let me. How about here? Can I put it in here? Appears I'm just sp Oh, there's like visible marks too. I'm just literally spilling ice cream. <laughs> Put an orange in there, why not? Turkey's back! Can we... shouldn't go into the microwave. Glass and paper work best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. Wait. It won't let me leave. It won't let me leave because I, I haven't turned. You know, friends, temperatures are up. Watermelon is my favorite thing to eat on a hot summer's day. Stop by Goofy's Grocery and pick one up. That is all. Oh no, that wasn't a cake. That was a tea that I put in the oven and <laughs> cooked. Uh, yeah, no safety for me. Let's check out this. Based on a hot anime property. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. I'm glad to leave those crappy neighbors. Man, many Mickey suck as neighbors, huh? Yeah, you know. Reiba, this is a robot that has been developed by a robot. The research of the robot has been very high. Reiba's crime is also a crime. The police officer has been sent to the patrol Reiba to me. The patrol is the birth of the patrol Reiba. Man, this is some jams.
Mobile Police Pat Labor Game Edition. What is the special? Live action Basset Hound. <laughs> Do you think that was Oshi's, uh... Oh, oops. I didn't mean to click that again. I, I wonder if that was Oshi's Basset Hound. So I think before I accidentally played the demo of this game. Oh man, they're using Tyrant 2000. Okay, we got a still a map painting. Meanwhile, at Tokyo Tower. Pass word. What's getting me is the, like the next buttons kind of look like, what is it? Is it the Famicom logo? I think it correlates to the PlayStation though. Because it's like red, blue for... Yeah, Super Famicom, that's it. Is that Shigeru Chiba? Shigeru Chiba losing his shit. As he does. I know Buggy when I hear him. So this might be more on the OVA side. It's been a bit. But uh, the movies are a little bit... The OVAs of Pat Labor are more comedic. And the movies are pretty serious. Okay. 
I think there is a game in here somewhere. Okay, are we are we, are we at the game? Oh yeah, here we go. Dorfon. So what is? Oh, we're both Dorfins. Whoa, what? It's... It's turn base? What? me weird low kick yeah the music's pretty good. This is a weird combat system, though. So I basically have to, like, combo. Oh god. Yeah, that's very weird. Not how I was expecting this. How to be. So I don't think I'm gonna like win this fight. <laughs> So yeah, you have to like time it. It's very strange, not at all what I would expect. Cross counter. Oh, I didn't get the down elbow. not what I was expecting. Jet stick? What? Yeah, like it's very... <laughs> Low kick. Left hook. Yeah, it's it's. I didn't expect this to be like a tur weird turn-based timing. Uh, yeah, I did it too early.
So that was like too slow in that case. Like, you would think this would be a mech combat game. Let's stick start. Stick A. Hey, hey, mad at that. Oh, God. I'll try this one fight, but if I can't get through it, we'll uh, move on. <laughs> Let's get the stick out. Oh, okay, so I straight up can't do the stick. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, you did low. Yeah, I... In 64, I'd feel that tried to turn item game into a... Hybrid heaven. Yeah, like the, the basically after each consecutive thing, the timing gets a little bit different. So it's like, oh, God, what did I even hit myself on? Oh, I do have a. I shoot. Straight. Left hook. Punch. As much as the Pat Labor, uh, you know, oh, I did it way too early there. So I used my bullets. actually be able to turn it around if I play my cards right. Just... Oh god! Went right into the drop kit. 720. Yeah, this is gonna be cutting it close. My bullets, I don't think my, yeah, no bullet.
four hundred. Okay, come on. Let's do it. Let's roll it. captures that pet labor magic. <laughs> Definitely an interesting way to try to do this. We made it past the first level. Let's. Let's see what the next level is like. And. Yeah, that's true. Uh, it's also in Japanese, so I do not. The some of the humor. Probably lost. Yeah, this seems more OVA than, uh, the movie. I was hoping we would get, like, some unique animation. Oh, there's our girl. Yeah, the, the comedy. Oh no, yeah, I like those OVAs. It's just, you know, obviously, no subs for this. Uh, here is a, a guy who is most uh, affectionately known as Mood, aka always looks tired. We had emergency. Send in the pat labor. Parent 2000. Oh, they're, they police, uh, like, robots in this world. Robots in this world are mainly used for construction, and the police are there 
to stop people who are using those robots to, you know, An Ingram three. Yeah, I guess that is just the combat. Seems like gun is mainly to stun them. Yeah, that's such a weird... I know I keep saying it. What is the number? I saw what are you doing, pal? Man, that stick is like fast. I mean, Mega Man is kind of police. Yeah, X is definitely, like, a police spot. I mean, he's stopping Mavericks. And, like, the one guy is, like, the past police chief, or, right? Or something like that? Sigma? This is Pat Labor. <laughs> Very uh, in interesting uh, adaptation of that famous. So this is something I was actually planning for a long play. Might be good just to play it for a little bit uh, and uh, see how it is. Oops. That will be good. Uh, there, hopefully it loads. Yeah, like, I, it certainly is a choice to make it a timing based, uh, Also, my Gundam mouse has shipped, so soon I will have a Gundam mouse. <laughs> uh, it's Dr. Slump. All thanks to my unparalleled genius. The world is about to bear witness to the birth of the first cyborg automation. 
No, the birth of the first perfectly human robot. Yes, yes, I am an ultra mega super genius. I'll finally be granted the beautiful and bubbly robot of my dreams. All that is left is I flip the switch and it, here it goes. The, so what I found for the scene, the art in this is actually, it reminds me a lot of Mega Man Legends, like just really using the PlayStation uh, hardware effectively. What was that lightning just now? Isn't she a bit short? I failed, no! She wasn't supposed to turn out like this. It's all because of that blasted lightning. You were supposed to be beautiful in a bubbly robot supermodel. Hey, look! A gorilla! Who are you calling a gorilla? Did I forget to align your eyes right? Here, kid, take these glasses. Wow, we, everything's so clear now. Hey, you really are a gorilla. <laughs> Give me a break. Hey, Professor, do I have a name? Well, I'm Sebi Norikami. You can stop calling me the Professor. I suppose you, I can call you. Yeah, he had to write prescriptions for a robot. I've got it, you'll be Arl. That takes care of that. You're still a little green around the ears, so let me explain some stuff to you. Actually, maybe it'd be best to let you run around for a while, and when you're done, talk to me by standing in front of me and pressing the square button. And once again, uh, the creator, uh, uh, Toriyama, kind of just has like a few character designs, which is why the one uh, girl in Chrono Trigger just kind of looks like Arl. <laughs> Well, I guess it wouldn't be one, but he definitely reuses uh, similar types of designs. List of places to reach from that area, okay. You're a robot. You don't need to do anything like that. Oh, she, she just said, what if I need to go number one? All right, then. I'll show you your room. <laughs> so those that don't know, Dr. Slump is a comedy. It, Toriyama's career is kind of weird in that if you look at his body of work, it is mostly comedy. He, he's actually a comedy mangaka, but he somehow became the premier fighting, uh... Just change the audio setting, if you have stereo or money. Oh, I can change my rumble settings. Can I play Who needs that? You can save at the diary. But yeah, this just has a really clean look. I do like how her picture I, appears to be just Godzilla in fire. Oh, the coat rack. What's the coat rack? Oh. Oh, 
would you say if the, the young gore world the same thing every day? We wouldn't want people to think there's anything strange about you. Okay, what outfits do I have? Well, there aren't any right now. You'll just have to make do. Gulp. And the... So the other thing about Arl is she is like just super strong, like literally she can punch the earth in two. Just you. Usually I'm in here doing research. If you ever need to find me here. Let's go outside. Ta-da! This is my house. Doesn't seem... T it's tiny. You're wrong. Oh, let's talk to the poo. When you poked that poop, the meter at the top of the screen went ding and filled up a bit. That's your pep gauge. It measures your excitement. Hmm. You managed to f fill it up... Come down to my lab and I'll create a brand new invention for you. Okay. Okay, that deserve that deserves more acts a little bit more excited. You got something to tell you. Oh, what do you... Oh, why don't you... Test out some of your mobility fe Kids should be bouncing up and down all over the place like this. Nice, you captured the jump ability. Press X to jump. That's more like it. I've installed a special circuit that lets you copy any special abilities that you witness. Call it the capture circuit. Isn't that exciting? Oh, I'm getting chills. That's amazing. That's unexpected. I didn't even know I built that functionality. I even surprise myself sometimes. Whenever you capture something, you'll learn how to do that move, so pay attention. Whenever you want to go somewhere, use the signpost. Let's go play. It doesn't have any Robo Vita A. Here's the coffee pot. Today's special is cake. Um, who are you? I don't think I've seen you around here. Hey, could I get your autograph? Whoa, what's up with her? Ah. Don't act cute. I dropped my earrings because of you. Get down and help me look for it. Nice, you captured the crouch. <laughs> crouch down and help me look for the dang thing. It's serious, the earrings has... Found it. R really? Let me see. You found it! Phew, sorry about earlier. I'm uh, Akane, by the way. I'm Arl. I came here from the professor. The professor- oh, you must mean Senbi. Are you his cousin or something? Uh, whatever. The big dude here is Taro. Nice to meet ya. And the puny dude is Pusuki. I 
made some friends. I'm gonna tell the professor about them. I don't think she's famous. Hey, Professor, I made some friends. Oh. I believe she lives in the kettle-shaped house. Why don't you go there again? I'm off. But okay. Let's go to the coffee pot. It's cooking. Your name is Arl. I heard all about you from Akane. I'm Oi. What's that picture? What's this thing? Weird, right? I don't know either. You kids couldn't appreciate it. I think that's Toriyama. By the way, Taro lives at the barber shop named Barber Sora Nun. You're nuts, get off the table. Do you want to help with the cafe? Sorry, but we're t tight right now. Although, that leads to her house. I can't have you. Let's go to the barber shop. What is this? Coffee pot. Oh wait, there's a poo. That's gross. I think it's okay. Well then, just don't touch me. Let me poke the poo. What do you have against poking the poo? Well, this seems cute. I'll... Later down the road, I might actually uh, play more of this. I'll have to see how long this game is. But yeah, it seems really neat. Ah, the French champagne has always been celebrated for its excellence. Well, thank you for the follow dream here, you're live. Hey, uh, so I believe Game cute. Yes, I believe that is all that I had planned. So somebody please give me a number and we shall go forth into the depths of uh, of the PlayStation. Or I actually a letter, but seven is enough that I can use that. I uh, let's see. So seven, one, two. I think I pl have I played this before. This seems like something I have played before. Or not, maybe it just doesn't work. Well.
Uh, V. Let's do... Uh, you know, I don't have anything in V, but this is close. Yeah, ski. Love the lick? What? That's a really like a good looking polygonal lips and I I am not sure if I'm comfortable. It's like surprisingly smooth for like a PlayStation. <laughs> See, my main familiarity with this is I remember seeing the song classic of game once. It certainly has a style, I'll give it that. <laughs> Yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely Saga. Is that where I came in from, or is that somewhere? Oh no, I don't like that with glowing eyes. It's like Animal Crossing. <laughs> it's 
So I actually don't know what the gameplay of this is. I think that's just save, right? I think I saved and quit. This is what happened. They made a Kino's Journey game? Is that just a visual novel? It's like a See it just being that. So wait. So do I like go? Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. I feel like if I would have definitely checked out a Kino's Journey like actual game. So, like, what do I do? PS2 has a ton of visual novels. I don't know what I did. See how this goes. So I think I take pictures, right? Oh my god. So I think you take photos and then show it to this guy. Yeah. 
What? Yeah, that's it's Pokemon. I was just taking pictures of rats. Man, I wish this game was English translated. God, what a what a weird and interesting game. <laughs> Uh, check out my other pictures. I got lots of rats. Oh, okay, so the rats knew about the alien. That is definitely a interesting game. Let's uh, let's continue. Uh, yeah, PlayStation, PS2 era. Th there is just a lot of weird stuff. Uh, so what next? What, uh, what hot letter should we go to? Here we got Q and then X. Uh, well, I don't have a queue, so I guess I'll go to the next thing. And then after X. That was weird. Well, Q is uh, not not a super common. Oh, it's a treasure game. Weird. Oh, that's cute. Oh, cr crap.
Oh, this is a treasure game. Whoa, what? Whoa, what? Yeah, I can see how it... I mean, Mr. Spickers is a uh, treasure game. Oh, I can... Yeah, this is Raku Guy's Showtime. Weird beat em up. It, it is effectively using the PlayStation. Oh, one on one. I actually have played Mischief Makers on one of my 64 streams. Oh god. I like how it like shows the arc of where you're... Yeah, this is like just a really cute uh, game. Yeah, I, I believe that is the first N64 stream. The second one has more obscure uh, stuff. Is used. Oh, that uh, unreleased one, the thing that uh, is a prototype. Wait, what? What do they have on? Are there like pencil sharpeners? I'm surprised they didn't bring this over. It's not like there's any thing they would need a. Uh... Yeah, but th this I feel doesn't even need a translation. You could, they could have just released this. I mean, you know, you uh, do the basic start, you know. But it's not like certain other games. She has a mean spinning bird kick. Oh, that's interesting. I can, like, do that. That's cool. Yeah, so it's so stupid, especially when you think about how one of the games people remember on the PlayStation is, you know, Symphony of the Night, a game. 
a game that, uh, th all, you know, has 3D, but... Uh, okay, what did we say X is next? Interesting. Rock Rakugai Showtime. Uh, X, Y, Z. Did I play this before? I might have played this. I can't remember. Oh god. That's not good. Oh, we'll see. I think we might have played this, though. Weird. It's like doing... Or maybe not. I don't remember that. Zero divide two. The secret wish. But uh, wait. No, we definitely played this. Isn't this the... Yeah, we, we've definitely played this. <laughs> this is the one with the weird robots. Go. I mean, it's still cool. But yeah, we definitely have played this before. God, what a weird game. But yeah, we definitely have played that before, so... Uh... Uh, let's, let's do this. Let's do a game in English. Yeah, I, I do. I would like to see zero divide money matches. It's just such a weird uh, game. Age, age tech. So this has a very funny name. I believe this actually might be a simple game. I forget. The Tower of Wisdom. Tall. It's called Tall Infinity. Oh, wait. Hamster? 2003. Holy crap. Oh, wait, it, it said character. I should pick a character. Build up the tower. What? Maybe I do need to look at the tutorial. I can't figure it out. <laughs> Yo, let me learn the basic controls. Basic controls. Move the character. Mm hmm. Oh, 
Oh, weird. Okay. That's what I mainly needed to know. So what is the characters? We have the gentleman, we have lady. Appears to be a hat, an egg. Yeah, just just build the infinity tower. Weird. Okay, so Oh, what? What was that? Yeah, like, uh, I could see this easily being a simple game. I'm not sure... This whole that big. the tall infinity let me just double check It'll tall infinity That's tall unlimited in Japan. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, let's see what to pick next. Uh, what to Oh. Might have done this before, once again. 
do not have the best of memory. Okay, Konami. Uh, maybe, maybe I haven't done this. What? Yeah, I have not done this. What? What? What are we naming the soundy? Somebody help me! What are we naming soundy? <laughs> okay. You doing the... Fun fact, I was in a program at Disney where, at the time, you did make Flubber. Uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't rep it too much, but... I actually am quite a verse in Disney stuff. Uh, well, yeah, I think it just makes it. Wait. <laughs> yeah, flub. That's... that's a loading screen. Wait, what? Tiny? Hell? Forest? Robo? Air, Aqua, and Heaven. I have no idea what this game is. Tiny Flub. I love Flub. Uh... Uh, somebody... Okay, so... Okay, are we doing robo lessons? Hell lessons? Forest, air, heaven, or aqua? Uh, well, I, let's do heaven and then hell. That makes sense. Bit machine, my pleasure. Why is this baby naked? Artist Konami, Anj, Danger Game, Private Green, Timeless. Uh, well. watching like that angle.
this a game? <laughs> it does look like Oh, I can turn the Pulse Oh, play beats? I guess this is a game. Can we not be the naked baby? Let's transform, please. Judge? <laughs> Judgment hell? Judgment! Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I have permission to bone! Oh! Wait, what? Uh... I'm now this. I can be a fairy? Okay. I can be bone? I could be... I got permission to bone. And then... So that is... I'm supposed to be like an angel in that one. What? What is even that's that? Is that supposed to be Robo? Oh, Ord? <laughs> Do 
<laughs> Love Bear failed to describe. Yes, oh my god. Holy shit. Look at this. Faces. Oh my god. You can see why people were into importing games because they would just like get stuff like this. It's weird, I, I, I earn points? How was I? Let, let's see the jelly dance. <laughs> yeah, play some corn! Let's judge. Uh, what are we? Uh, we did robot judgment. Uh, let, let's do the air judgment. Water and air. Judgment. Oh my god, look at the dragons! I think he's a very good dancer, that's this this uh, flubber guy. Uh let me see one second. This game is called Goo Goo Soundly. And it is uh by Konami. My dragon friend. Okay. Goo guy or jelly doesn't seem to do too much. I, I want to see what the hologram does. Or is, are we gonna like just be dancing holograms? Hologram, it's like a telegram. You can use it anywhere, uh, but you're never really there. Judgment. Look at the fish face. And there's a flounder down there. He fell off! 
You know, why can't the Apple pinwheel have a hologram in the center? Audio Surf wish it could be this cool. Yeah, that, that's the thing we 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 lost. We don't have our Viv ribbons anymore. We don't have whatever you want to call this. Uh. Let's see, we have fairy. Came out three months before. We're, we're, man, Japan must have been like, you know, we want all the cool games. Uh, let's do forest, I guess. That's the last one, right? Let's do a skeleton in the forest. Tranquil. Judgment. Man, that skeleton knows how to dance. Yeah, a whole a whole studio made this and put it out. I mean, think about it. There are definitely people in the 90s who got this and just got high as hell watching this. Like, import this and be like, yo, check this out. This is the most wild PlayStation 1. <laughs> Could be a dancing skeleton and there's faces staring at you. The games are never going to get better than this. I mean, how can you get better than a dancing skeleton surrounded by smiling trees and a weird grass moon? I doubt there's cheats, but I just want to know goo goo sound. I doubt there's cheats uh, for this, but uh, no. Yeah, there's no, uh, there's nothing, not even a save file. How sad. Oh, uh, I guess we haven't seen... Yeah, one day I'll have to pay play that uh, Peter Gabriel game. I'm just afraid most of it'll get muted. Because, you know, Peter Gabriel. <laughs> yeah, that one friend with a mod chip bundle. Uh, let's judge the fairy in, uh... Heaven. Let's go back to the default. Judgment. the moon oh what is that can we can we get a look at that face
She's like doing air walking. Oh, there. Oh, God. It's Zardos. This is Ambrosia. <laughs> The garden is good. <laughs> I just, I like when she. <laughs> the mod ship is good. The C E A is evil. The other options are but uh guess we won't get to that uh yeah what that that's freaking wild yeah I, I, i'm not sure if we'll get anything else that will compete with that but uh anybody wanna give a suggestion Okay, uh... Don't... What is this? So we'll do K first. Sony Music. Okay. Good. We're getting Genki over here. What? The DNA Imperative? August 16, 2038. International Peacekeeping Force Headquarters, Auckland. Control picks up an urgent message from undercover agent Franco Fukuzawa at the South Pole Observation Base of the giant Bifloss Group. The message reads, Situation critical. Kim must be stopped. Repeat, Kim must be stopped. Hours later, a Liger assault chopper is speeding toward the South Base, carrying the IPKF's most elite polar operations team, White Lightning. Now entering Bifloss South Pole Observation Base airspace. Time to target, 360 seconds. Enter Protect Armor. Stand by for landing and entry. How are you in a ribbit? Captain, data screen shows evidence of survivors on base. Isolate all survivors and watch your backs. All right, men, time to go to work. Heat seeking missiles approaching at 8 o'clock. Initiate emergency evasion maneuver. Time remaining to impact, four seconds. Three seconds. Evasion maneuver unsuccessful. Protect armor impact defense mode on. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Protect. Ah! Oh no. Coda, ID number A624F. Captain, International Peacekeeping Force, Polar Tactical Operations, White Lightning Team. Objective, Bifloss South Pole Observation Base. Mission status, Liger downed in missile attack originating from base. Team status, Carlos, voice contact affirmative. Condition, uninjured. 
Werner and Fukuzawa, voice contact negative, presumed dead. Proceeding towards South Base. Out. Ah. So, Kim wants to play rough, huh? Okay, Doc. You asked for it. Objective. 50 meters directly ahead. Activate protect armor combat mode. Proceeding toward target entrance. What the? First Kim blows us out of the air, now he's rolling out the welcome mat? What's the little lab rat up to this time? What the? I love the DNA imperatives. Weird. Unidentified object approaching. One moment, access. Oh, one of these. Systems check. Life support, normal. Movement, normal. Attack, normal. Defense, system down. ROM replacement necessary. We need to replace that ROM! Access data screen. Access data screen. Access data screen. Weird. Okay. Access data screen. Okay, I don't don't want that. Quite complicated. Turn on the lights in here. Message received. This is Carlos. Repeat, this is Carlos. Captain, do you copy? Exercise extreme caution. The enemy is everywhere and attacks without warning. Enemies everywhere. Yeah, you know, back then, the Nintendo Switch... Oh, crap! At least I was able to turn on the light and... Oh god! Cartridge secured. I, can, I guess I could see this being popular with a certain set of people. 
first person controllers. Oh god, what is that? Repair parts. Repair parts secure. I like the idea of this robot running over to the lunch table. Oh, this is early. Key card secured. Oh man, what are what are, what's on this bed? Can I look down? Can't really tell. Repair part secured. Oh, was this a launch title? Access data screen. Repair part secured. Oh, my shield's only at 14%. I'll probably die. Well... This is what it is. That's a pretty good game over. Interesting. Uh, let me see. Uh, Wafiti said S. S for Sony. Uh, There's a bunch of S's. I have no idea what this is, so let's do that. Oh, another Square Enix join? Or Enix, right? There's no square part. Soul? Okay. What is this? This <laughs> two thousand. Let's let's be easy. Let's be kind. <laughs> yeah, it's me when I get up.
ハンコお願いしますえ I got an orange <laughs> That's probably bad. Do I have to defuse this orange? Oh my god! Show tomate. So that's where that emote is from. I actually, okay, I know what emote you're talking about, uh, Danny. Is she pogoing? Hello there. That's a different color shirt that says hello there. And the pogo stick has a bomb in it!
and Enix put the song out, which is... Why was she given... Why was she given uh, the bomb again? The orange bomb? <laughs> yeah! Yeah, I guess that is true, huh? Man, these edits are, like, amazing. Oh.
<laughs> She's got a gun. Save us, you How long is this game? Sitting alone in a park, it's probably going to be a bomb, right? Oh, okay. Yours. Okay, so eventually it gets to a point where you do need to have at least some knowledge. <laughs> Everything she has is a bomb. Wait. Ah, the French champagne has always been celebrated for its excellence. Uh, thank you for the follow. What? Okay, this is definitely not where I thought it was gonna go. <laughs> I I literally don't know what I did. I just clipped one of them. Did I get out of a Mario pipe?
Wait, what? <laughs> it's like Sonic Adventure 2. I hate it when the moon is a bomb. Uh, let's unscrew the moon. <laughs> Majors foe. What is this for, though? Oh my goodness, it's like the most complex one. Oh my god. It's more? Jeez. What? What? Oh! <laughs> yeah, I guess I shouldn't have done that.
Uh, okay, let's... Let's do one more game. Uh... I don't know. Let's try this. <laughs> Roman television. Oh, we did E next, so it, I guess it's time for Square. This is your limit. Cyber Org. Cyber Org. <laughs> this opening. <laughs> we can't scan inside Bargon. Angry. Cyber Orc. <laughs> yeah, I hope they're not overselling. <laughs> Cyber Org. Cyber Org. In space, there are so many things beyond our imagination. It was my fourth year with the Space Investigation Bureau of the Genomations when I came to this realization. I was on vacation when I received an order. Ambassador Poe of the planet Romulus, which is trying to establish friendly relations with us, has disappeared in Area Z3. Investigate immediately. Oh, not the Z3. The investigation was to be performed by the joint forces of the Federal Space Investigation Bureau and the local Sheriff's Department. <laughs> oh. I left for the Sheriff's Station of Area Z3 of the Geno Nations right away. When I got there, the investigation team had already been formed. Thousis, Chief Sheriff Z3, Planet Metamon. K-1. 
characteristic, emotionally stable. <laughs> characteristic, emotionally stable. Gigante, planet, enorme. Characteristics, gentle, yet strong. TJ, planet, Earth. Characteristic. I wonder who this manga artist is. Mike, the planet. <laughs> planet Look at enemy. Mike! Characteristics, competitive and sarcastic. Mike's a gamer. And me, Pew Moravier, Federal Space Investigator. Can I play as Mike? The spaceship Genesis and took off for point FO 10.0, where Ambassador Poe had disappeared. Who could have imagined what lay ahead of us? Something far beyond our imagination. through warp space to the location point of our investigation and something strange happened. The Genesis was pulled beyond its control into a distortion of time and space. That seems bad. Looming ahead of us was a nebulous formation that seemed to be the source of this energy. Dragging our spaceship inside it. We made an emergency landing in an area something like a graveyard. A graveyard of spaceships, meteorites, and small space colonies. We found two Romulus ships, but there was no radio response from either of them. They're really big. <sighs> Set up for a pew pew and action game. Suddenly, we beheld a horrifying sight. Two huge arms came out of a machine, started pulverizing discarded ships and meteorites. There's no way out. We are going to be killed by that machine. There was only one way to survive. We had to stop the crashing machine. Faustus, Gigante, and TJ left in the Genesis's exploratory vehicle, the Regulus, with Mike as pilot. I stayed behind to monitor communications. Cyber Org. Let's be the bug boy. Who wants to be a boring human? Whoa.
I could see that. Is this a platformer? <laughs> Everyone's like, is that unit one? No, I'm just a bug man. Actually, just bypass that. Yeah, yes, I got mail. What's this? Trans. The game vanished. Bio machine. What is that? Lizards? Are these gexes?
Very intense music for fighting a bunch of lizards. <laughs> Actually, it's one of those. Wait, here was a teleport. Oh, okay. Poison. Weird. What a weird. <laughs> huh. Well. Bear hand green. Well then, uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I would. I was editing this, so it looks a little weird. But yeah, that was that was a fun batch of PlayStation games. <laughs> Various, uh, various qualities, and it, it, we certainly, certainly had a journey, that is for sure.